Let's jump to the war here, and today we've got a saving a disaster situation playing uh, Medieval 2, the Americas campaign, as New Spain, where the campaign itself, not really an issue, but he's captured Chichen Itza, the garrison that he's left in there is in poor shape, and there's a Mayan army ready to launch the attack oh, over the end turn. Honor. He sent an when army I to guess? come and stop them, but fell one tile short. There is no way for us to, um, to get him to... Come. to but do anything there. And I can't send anyone in yes. as reinforcements. So these guys here are on their own. So if these guys were to oh, launch an attack at Chichen Itza because of uh, the high you. level of Come. high quality of some but of the these units, we basically don't stand live. a chance. So what I want to do here is sally out. Yes. And even if we don't end up outright winning, take out the most important units from this fight so that we can win a defense. Or get them to back off. Because we've got an advantage here that we can at least guarantee that we're going to get free kills. And that's with the musketeers. So I'm just going to rearrange this. A little bit. Alright, we've got a culver in here. No, we don't. It has, um... I think they need at least three men in order to have a cannon. So they just don't have enough there. They've got a lot of missile units, but we've got long-range missiles. I want to put these Culverin crew here, because I'm just not going to use them. Okay, and they'll probably just run away. They'll run back, I mean. Yep, okay. Now, like I said, utilizing the Musketeers. This is the key to victory, I think. Now, they're going to put all their shit up front. We don't want to shoot their shit because it's just a waste of ammunition. What we want to be doing is shooting the high quality units back here. The, um, the Jaguar Warriors. Everything that has relatively high morale, that's what we want to get at. Because we can just charge into the Mayan Javelin men and break them very easily with these Conquistadors. I don't have enough Conquistadors in order to win the entire battle on their own, but a good number. Now, what we want to do with these guys is go around the flanks. Don't attack them head on. Because if I go, I, like I've got longer range than their archers, but not by that much. So what I want to do is make sure they don't have any of that garbage standing in front of us. We're going to go all the way around here. I'll send the cavalry to go and support them. So if anyone comes charging after us, I'll have the cavalry chase them away. But I've got to be shooting these like no com warriors, anything with like really high morale. That's what we're going to be going for. Because these things here, these these things, these um, these guns. If you get shot by this, you're dead anyway because of their high missile damage. Why why shoot low tier units when we can shoot high tier units and get the same number of kills? So what we want to be doing is shooting the units that aren't likely to break easily. And then what we'll do is once we've taken out as many of those as we can, we'll, we'll just route the rest of them. Hopefully. Also, we get a bit of a high ground from here. Now, the AI is really passive in these sally out battles. So, we can inch our way bit by bit to get specific kills. Temple Guard. Okay, cool. They haven't reacted to this yet. Alright, Jaguar Wars. Let's have a look here at some of these units. So, you've got Nokom, Nakom Warriors there. They do not have a bonus. Morale, so they're they're not particularly good morale. Priest of Kalukan, excellent morale. That's definitely a unit we should try to shoot. Um, Jaguar Warriors, excellent morale. Yeah, we got to kill them. Temple Guard, excellent morale. Yeah, we got to kill them. Frightened nearby enemy infantry. Since we don't have a commander here, then if any of our guys, especially these ones, go close to them, they'll probably break straight away. More Temple Guard. Yeah, these are the ones. We don't have enough ammunition to kill them all, but let's, let's send them out as much as we can. All their trash is out front here. This is the easy shit. We can deal with that later. Okay, let's start with... Hang on, let me have a look at the Jaguar Warriors. Are they frightened? No. They don't frighten any units. Um, they got Temple Guard there. Honestly, I can charge into that one pretty easily because he's standing back. Let's start with the Jaguar Warriors here. Good, and they just don't properly react to it. And we're shooting them in the back so their shields don't count for anything. Good. Really high value kills here. The 
The temple guard would be better. Oh, well, we go with what's not everyone is it like easily available but high quality. Okay. Should maybe put them on guard mode. Don't get too close because we don't want to get the um, the Mayan archers to come chase after us. I don't want to put these guys on fire. I want them shooting at specific targets. Priest of Kalukan. Okay, so Kalukan, whatever. Sorry. <laughs> Oh my god, he can't even pronounce my own words. Good. This is a high value unit that gets taken out pretty damn quickly. Because like I said, you get shot in the back by a bullet. Doesn't matter if you're a low tier, you're in a high tier unit. How much armor you've got, doesn't matter. Good. And if we miss them, we're probably hitting these guys in the back a bit. Yeah, yeah, we are. The mine archers. Low value unit. That's fine. Good. That unit completely wiped out. They rearranged a little bit. That's fine. Alright. Jaguar warriors, these ones here. Let's go for them. Still got plenty of ammo. But yeah, the AI is very passive in these fights here. The only thing, the only time you would really have to worry about um, sallying out against the enemies if you get like no missile units whatsoever, especially the long range missiles. And if the enemy has cavalry, especially horse archers, then it can be a bit of a problem, which is not something that you really need to worry too much about when you're playing New Spain in the uh, America's campaign. Batab militia, are they any good? Nah, okay, nothing. I'm only looking at morale. Because whatever their combat stats are, it doesn't matter once they're broken. Okay, let's stop for a moment and inch a little bit closer. Good, they're not reacting to it. Could shoot at their general here, but like I said, this one here is going to be very easy for us to use uh, the conquistadors to, to charge into. Whereas these ones here, they're closer to the archers. And honestly, this dude here... He's dead, mate. He just doesn't realize it yet. Okay, let's take out these temple guard here. Yeah, very bad bounce of power. And when it comes to these these kind of units here, it's really important that you select the units that you want to kill with absolute care. Which is something that we wouldn't really be able to do if they were attacking. Because for one thing, the battle would have been over by now, one way or another. And a lot of the time, people do underestimate the uh, the native factions, especially if they're bringing good units. If they're just if they're just bringing like Mayan javelinmen, Mayan archers, native warriors, that's fine. That's not a big deal. It's the high morale units that matter. So we're starting to run low on ammo. Still got more temple guard there. But we've wiped out a good number of units so far. These guys have definitely done their worth. Bounce power is still bad. 20% of the enemy are dead. Let's move in a little bit closer. Yeah, let's shoot those. them a little bit more because yeah they they just like unbreakable even if we kill the enemy general these guys here are just not gonna break okay good but they're dead so that's good enough all right still two units of temple guard here god damn there's a lot of them in this army don't have enough ammunition to kill them Try to go for that Jaguar warrior there. Okay, we're starting to run low on ammo. Okay, this one here's probably had a little bit harder time shooting because it's on the lower section of the ground. Let's just move over here. Uh, yeah, as long as they're not coming up this way, that's fine. And I'm sure some people will be like, why isn't he shooting at the general? Trust me. That dude's dead, he just doesn't realize it yet. Okay. 
going with the Jaguar Warriors. Good, 25. A quarter of the enemy army is gone now. And the balance power is still horrendous. Can't rely too heavily on these native warriors. We probably could have gotten more kills if we got closer, but that would also mean that they would fire back at us. It was really important that th we just got these free kills, as many as we could get. And like I said, what we could do now is just walk back into the settlement and call it a day. If all of your units are inside the city walls and there's no enemy forces inside your walls, you can just exit the battle and call it a draw. They suffer all of their casualties and we suffer none because we haven't taken any. Now, another thing that we could do, we could get these archers around the back here to shoot at those temple guard. I don't think that's worth doing right now. It'd be a waste of time. All right, move them back. All right, you, you're up. And let's do the thing that I said that I want to do. Now, we could go straight in there and kill the enemy general straight away, but that's not really what I want to do right away because killing him right now doesn't really matter. Definitely want to kill him, just not right now. What I want to do is charge in on their most vulnerable position at their absolute rear, running down the hill, and also as far away from the archers. See, what I could have done is run in through here, and I probably would have gotten shot a little bit by the archers, and then um, I could have sniped him. But like I said, I want to kill this entire unit. So what we want to do here is not just take one charge, but multiple. Have these guys kill as many as they can, not specifically going for him, then we run back up the hill, wait for them to go back into the position, charge at them again. Okay, get back. Go, 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 go. Okay, suffer a little bit of damage there. But we took out a good number of those temple guard. Wait for everything to reset. Good, they're still standing the way that I want them to. Cool. Because what, they have like 150 men? Yeah, they had 151 men. So we took out nearly 70 of them on that charge. It cost us two conquistadors. Do it again. So like I said, even if I kill this dude, it is not going to break these temple guard. Another one died. I don't think it's worth going into loose formation. Stand back over here. What's another? So I've lost four of these conquistadors so far. I do not think it would have been worth it to try to shoot all of the Mayan archers. There are just too many of them. What's really important is taking out these temple guard. Now, if you're thinking, why not try to just pin down the temple, uh, the uh, the archers first? When the melee happens, the battle's going to be really quick, and our guys are going to break very quickly because we don't have a proper general here. So we really have to kill this enemy general and as many of the temple guard as possible first, because the temple guard are going to cause fear you know, with this effect here. Frighten nearby enemy infantry. These guys here aren't going to aren't going to hold. Okay, we go in for another one. This time, do we kill the enemy general? It's okay if we don't. So, there's only two of them left. Okay, we might have gotten away this time without any of them taking any casualties. Back and back. Good. Right, that dude's definitely going to die in this next charge. Praise to okay, our quick, Lord. Quick, quick, quick. Run. Our run, run. men have slain now the enemy die. general. Now his men will lose heart. Okay, now it's going to be really easy to rout all these Mayan javelin men and shit like that, but the temple guard, nope, that oh, is yeah. still a challenge. Okay, now let's get these guys. Let's bring them around and try to thin out those temple guard a little bit. They should have the same amount of range as the Mayan archers. So I, I need to be taking out those temple guard. Let's 
go have a bit of a rest in the meantime. So, what do you have to begin with? Was it 23 men? So we, what, lost six? To take out 151 Temple Guard. I think that's worth it. Obviously, I would have liked to take zero casualties. But, yeah, sometimes that's just not possible. Yeah, don't put them on fire at will. That's it. Over here. Doesn't matter if these guys get exhausted. But yeah, we want to use every tool at our disposal here, because if we just rush at them, we can't beat them. Just because of those temple guys, if they didn't have that, this wouldn't be a problem. Again, I'm not expecting these guys here to obliterate them, but the odds are so bad. Well, actually, we've moved it from defeat as a certainty to a distinct possibility, so we have improved things, but it's still really bad. Okay. Now, if this happens, all right, this is fine. If they move far enough away, I'll charge in the cavalry at them. And they should actually break. Because don't forget, we've got the high ground here. We'll get a range bonus. Small range bonus. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm actually going to leave them there. I want you to charge in on them, because I reckon I can get them to break. Don't bother shooting them. Because the death of the captain definitely will affect these guys here. Good, broke him. Back before the other one shoots you. Okay, we lost two men on that, that's fine. Don't bother shooting at them. Not important. Okay, it might rally, it might not yet it rallied. Okay, okay, just wait, just wait. Back a little bit more. Okay, and we'll go at him again. Cool. This time, no casualties. If they want to run up this way, that's good. I'll try to capture them as long as we're not getting shot while we're doing it. Good. All right. That unit is not coming back. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, almost for free. Took a casualty. They're not coming back. Hang on. We got another one over here. Just got to draw them away from the temple guard. Yep, we can do that. Few casualties. I think our guys are losing hit points now. Okay, they're only shaken, not wavering, so we've got to pull back and charge at them again. I think they use their javelins, hit their own dudes in the back. Oh, this unit doesn't have much left in it, but it's done a really good amount of damage. That bounce of power is slowly creeping towards our favor. No, it seems silly, me not shooting at them, but I'm not going to shoot at trash. No point shooting shit. Okay, let them just wait for them to rally. The reason why I'm not using this conquistador is because that's our captain. We kind of need him to live at the moment, at least. Just to, because if he dies, then these guys here will definitely rout in the coming fight. Okay, get out of there. Right, do they still have any more archers left, or are there... I think that's it, it's just javelin... No, no, they still got a mine archer over here. Okay. Hang on, don't get too close to those javelin men. That's it. That's too few men, I think, to rally. Especially with their general dead, and they're probably exhausted. And we run them down. Good. Alright, that didn't cost us much. Alright. Move these guys back over here. And let's start shooting at the temple guard. We really want to thin them out. Okay, those Mayan archers might come at us. That's fine. Yep, this is fine. This is a master of skirmishing here. Yeah? 
Don't shoot just yet, because if they start shooting, they won't run back. That's kind of what I need them to do. Just wait. Draw them in. If they want to shoot at a couple of our crossbowmen, that's fine. Okay, start moving back. Hopefully they're targeting the crossbows, not the conquistadors, but yeah, they did. Good. Okay, with only 11 men charging it, we're probably not going to break them right away. At least this is their last archer unit. That charge was shit. Running out of conquistadors. Try again. Yeah, they just didn't charge that time. It's annoying. Alright, I gotta get out of there. There's just they're too weak now, they can't cause the uh, unit to break. Just get out of there. I'm trying to, I'm trying to dodge, but there's too few of them. Alright, now we need to bring the other one over here. If I'm going to break that other unit, I need to, to risk the captain now. He's just stayed still. Okay, fine. Let's get over there. Try again. Alright, now that's their last arch unit. Get back, get back, get back. The other thing is here, is because these guys here were the first to die, that also means they'd be the first to recover, so I might be able to revive every single one of the conquistadors that dies, as long as plenty of native warriors also die in this fight. So if it's in there being like, oh my god, he's sacrificing his conquistadors. No, they managed to come back, because there is a 15% revival rate if you win a battle. Obviously, if I go in and call it a draw, I won't get them back. Um... So the first men to die are the ones that recover, which includes these ones here that took a bit of damage. Okay. I don't think those archers are going to bother us too much now. Okay, get in there. And we want to shoot at the temple guard. Yeah. They're coming at us again. This time I'm not going to fall back. Don't get shot by the javelin. And then, good. Get back. Good, good. Okay, cool. Like I said, I don't expect these guys to get hundreds of kills. There just isn't enough of them to do that. But at least all of their sort of medium range units are now dead. All routed. Batab militia are not important. Yeah, come a bit more over this way. Warriors, march! Because yeah, every single temple guard that we can kill is going to be very useful because we're probably going to have to fight these guys to the death. Alright, bouncer power is slowly improving. That's great. <laughs> a lot of work on this one. you got to do things in... It requires a lot of patience. If you don't do it in exactly the right order, we just don't have enough bouncer power to overcome it. Keep thinning them out. I'm not going to be able to get rid of every last one of these Temple Guard, but those are the only ones remaining. So I think they had, what, four or five units of Temple Guard? And have been reduced down to essentially less than one. Now they've still got a, a few Jaguar Warriors left, but not much. They can break, though. They're not, not, they're not as tough as the Temple Guard. But these um, Mayan Javelin men, they're nothing. Al Hole Pop Militia. I'm pretty sure they're low morale. Yeah, yeah, nothing to worry about them. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, well, bounce bow is still not in our favor, but now we need to. Now we need to win this. So, how are we gonna do it? Their line is much bigger than ours. So how are we going to do this? 
I think we're gonna need to send even the, the musketeers in melee because what we're trying to do here in this part is to just get a route going. So we need to hit them super hard at that flank right there. Get that unit to route. Basically have these charge in from the flank, these charge in from the front, so they're taking the, the bulk of the uh, the javelin damage. And these guys charge in from the rear on that unit there, or maybe even this one. And we just gotta roll them up. Okay, I'm gonna send these guys in first because they're slower than them. But obviously we want these guys here to be suffering the damage from the missiles. So these guys here get ready as well, over here. Okay, here we go. We just pound them. Basically it's like a gigantic punch into the kidneys. Where what we want to do is really make them feel it. And keel over. That's it, you guys get in there as well. There's no Comoris, actually. Actually, you. Go in the rear. Good. Good. And let's wrap them up. Let's wrap this up, boys. We got this. Like I said, big old fucking kidney punch. Get rid of their super high morale units first, or else this was just never going to work. Don't worry about these guys, just get them off the battlefield. Main thing here is just win, so that we don't have to have the siege anymore. That's it. That's it. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Musketeers, you don't need to don't need to fight anymore. Run down what we can. But we're not gonna get them all, there's too many of them. Alright, so we end up losing 24% of our forces, and they, it says they've lost 85%, 84%, but I doubt that. I really doubt they've lost that much. Because, yeah, as soon as they leave the battlefield, it kind of counts as them being killed, but not really. When we hit end battle, then we'll um, then we'll know exactly how many we've killed. I, I don't. I think it'd be more closer to uh, seventy percent than eighty. And we'll see how many of these guys here end up being revived. Because yeah, these guys here took a lot of damage, which is what I wanted. Because death for them means life for these conquistadors, and they're the really important units. These guys. The enemy. Crap. Are overcome. This is a great right, victory. Let's have a look here. So if we have a look at our conquistadors, casualties sustained, casualties healed. Every single conquistador came back, except for in the captain unit because it, we took a casualty um, midway through the fight there. But yeah, every single one of those conquistadors came back with the power of Aztec necromancy. Our people will pay for our release. Well, we really need that money, don't we? Yes, you are an honorable foe. No, I'm not. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't kill 85%, that's fine. But there we go, we lifted the siege for you, and if we have a look here... Yes? Yeah, your guys had no movement left. Well, you know what the funny thing is now? Is um, now you, you get to have a revolt. <laughs> it was gonna riot. Um, 
Because it can't write when it's under siege. So what you should do... Let's take out the units that we really don't want. Your Majesty. Orders. To take damage from the uh, from the rioting. And just leave behind... Yes. Oh, they merged that unit. Okay, whatever. Move out. Still same number of troops. Yes. Orders. This unit here, it doesn't really have any serious value to you anymore, so it's just going to slow you down, but just take it out anyway. If these guys here take some damage, okay, just hang on, just take everything out except for one. It's definitely going to riot, but then just put them back in next turn, because it's not going to revolt. Um, I would recommend, yeah, building that, because that provides a good amount of public order. And yeah, definitely recruit that, that was a good call. And then, yeah, just hold the public order for next turn, and that should be fine. These guys here, they could attack you. Orders. Yes, but I think they're less likely to. Pride. They're gonna siege attacker. Your spirit is weak. Have you gone through the rest of your turn? I have no idea. Let's just. I tell you what. I'll just save it. I'll send that save file in. But let's just see what happens. I'm pretty sure it's fine. Yeah, I had no idea if it was the end of the turn or what. Taking too long. Yeah, everything's fine there. So the rioting. Four soldiers killed, a few citizens died. Then yes. you can put them back in there. March. Sixty-five percent won't maintain public Orders. order. But this will be built before the revolt calculation is done, so that'll get you to seventy-five percent. You can also just put in orders, this guy, and then... Oh god, he didn't help either. Orders? Um... Your orders, number one, your will. Let let's me see. Strike Maybe this guy might help. Approaching, my lord. Okay, there we go. You get them to 70%. At 70%, it will not riot or revolt. So you'll be fine there with that. But I'll still send in from that uh, quick save from the previous turn. Anyway, that was an interesting scenario in showcasing how you can basically against overwhelming odds and just a handful of cavalry how you can absolutely demolish a native american army in this uh, campaign here anyway that's the end of this one hope you guys enjoyed it hope you learned something appreciate you and we'll see you next time later guys